Hello, it's Fabrice from Lab for One Academy, and today I'm going to introduce you with Project Walrus, an open source Android based tool that aims to provide a unified interface over multiple RFID devices. It's designed as a pen testing slash red teaming accessory. It also provides a centralized system for bulk trading cards, card management, reading, writing, and emulation. So right now it's compatible with the Proxmark 3 and the Chameleon Mini with uh, support with additional uh, devices and tags planned in the coming future. So today we'll check out how it works with the Proxmark 3 RDV2 and some low frequency HID Prox tags. So getting started is fairly easy. You just visit the official website uh, projectwalrus.io and you can download the app from the Play Store. Um, and also get uh, some background about the project itself. Once it's installed, you can load up the app. And during that time, we are going to prepare our hardware. We are going to use one Proxmark free RDV2 with the LF antenna, uh, of course, the Android phone, and we need a cable to uh, connect our Android phone to the Proxmark free RDV2. So here is going to be a USB C a micro USB cable. So let's plug our antenna or LF antenna in or Proxmark free like that okay and or USB C adapter then or USB cable inside the Proxmark and just like that okay we're done so when connected, the device will detect the Proxmark and you may need to explicitly grant permission, just like that. On the devices window, we can see our device is connected. We can also see some basic diagnostics and we can perform an antenna tune if we want. The software provides two different reading modes, single or bulk. The single mode is useful if you are at your desk and you have unrestricted access to the target tag. Bulk read mode is aimed for penetration testing, red teaming or war walking, where you may need the device to constantly scan for tags. The great thing is that all scan tags are timestamped and geotagged for later use. Okay, let's open the bulk read mode on the phone, like that. Now we can set a name for this collection of cards. Let's... Uh call it uh, lab 401 okay. lab 401 like that and as soon as we press the right arrow on the top of the screen the proxmark starts its scan mode from this point in time any lf card that is introduced onto the antenna is uh, instantly read and stored the system is smart enough to avoid duplicates in its list which is pretty cool Once we have finished scanning, we can press the reset button on the Proxmark to stop the scanning. And we can see the card dump related functionality. Okay, let me show you. Uh, for example, for the first badge, we can see its content, when it was scanned, where it was scanned, and also uh, we have the write and emulate functionality. So if we wish to write the dump to a blank card, we can position the blank tag like that, then simply press the right button. Depending on the hardware, we can also emulate a tag in the situation where we don't have any compatible blanks, but we still wish to use a tag. Overall, Project Warworks is the perfect side companion tool for the RFID pen tester or the red teamer. It can handle multiple devices and scan, save, write and emulate multiple tags. It can also be set to give tactile responses to certain actions. Uh, for example, you can set it to vibrate on a device connection, vibrate on a tag collection, etc. Uh, allowing the pen tester to have feedback on the successful read without having to guess or pull out their hardware to confirm. Dan and Matt, the creators of this project, are working very hard to add support for more devices and tags 
and here at Lab 401 we are very excited to see the evolution of this project. If you have a Proxmark 3 or a Chameleon, check out this awesome project today. If you don't, check out the Lab 401 pen tester pack and our RFID tag packs to get you started. Visit lab401.com right now and get the best price for your device. Remember that at Lab 401, pen testing is our career, so you can count on us. Take care guys and see you next time.